if there is an online viewer, we apologize for that flailing moment. The <laughs> camera did not stay put. <laughs> Hi! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have all the enthusiasm of that lump of Play-Doh. Um, <laughs> so, how was your Christmas celebration? Good. 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 Just finished up yesterday, right? Uh, yeah. Really? No. No? <laughs> What's the right answer? <laughs> Man, I have them trained now. It's no longer just an answer. It's what's the right answer. Arguably, the right answer is yesterday. Who knows the song? Please don't sing it for me. It'll take forever. The 12 Days of Christmas. You've heard of that one? Five golden rings and all that stuff, yeah. pipers piping, drummers drumming, all those good things, right? That's the season that ended yesterday. Christmas just finished. You know, we talked, I think, before, and if we didn't, I apologize, we'll do it again now. You know, about Hanukkah being eight days, but Christmas is 12. That's why they made that song, to remind us that the Christmas season goes from December 25th to January 5th. But today's January 6th, so what day is today? Uh, January 6th. January 6th is a correct answer, but not the one I was looking for. Uh, it is Sunday? It is Sunday, another correct answer, but not the one I'm looking for. What? The end of Christmas? No, Christmas ended yesterday. Uh, the day after that. The beginning of... <laughs> the, the, the day after. Good, good. How about I just give this to you? It's called Epiphany. No, Lent is coming in like February or March. I'm not even sure yet. I should look that up. Um, epiphany. That's a pretty big word, isn't it? Epiphany. Four syllables. It means a discovery or a realization. That's what epiphany literally means. If someone never says to you, I had an epiphany, that means I had a great idea, I had a big discovery, I had an aha, a eureka moment. That was for my son who goes to your college. <laughs> and for the alums in the room. Um, that aren't in the room. And uh, that are no longer in the room. <laughs> never mind. Okay, the parents. <laughs> Did you ever make a big discovery? Did you find treasure in your backyard? No. Did you look? No. <laughs> Did you finally get a math concept you're having trouble with and go, wow, I get it. Yes. There we go. I knew I'd find one. I was that way with math. It was always, oh, and then I was okay, right? The story we hear every year around this time about the three wise men or the three kings or the three magi, depending on how the story is told, is about them discovering and finding Jesus, who is the king of kings. Now, look at the nativity scene. Where are they? Yeah, I know it's hard to see. You can look at They're on the stage. Where are they relative to Jesus? around him. And how old is Jesus in that scene? One day. Or like, like a day. Maybe 12 days, right? Yeah. No. The kings don't arrive till like two years later. So those scenes are something we brought together to remember all the parts of the stories about Jesus' birth. But by the time the kings arrive, Jesus is maybe Hayden's age. <laughs> that kind of changes things, doesn't it? You know, if they're bowing down and giving gifts to this baby, because Hayden would know exactly what to do with frankincense and gold, right? <laughs> Not so much? By Plato. By Plato, <laughs> exactly. That would be awesome. Um, but you would know exactly what to do with those things, right? With frankincense and gold? Well, if that's relatively, you know, cents and dollars, then yeah. Okay, and and myrrh, you know what to do with that? Yeah. What's myrrh? A thing. A thing, good. Anyone? Anyone got a guess? It, it, it is highly relevant. 
to what's going to happen about 30 years later. Myrrh is what they used to treat people after they died. They anointed them. They cleansed their bodies with myrrh. Mmm. Perfect for a baby, right? Something you'd all think of for a baby shower, right? No? No? No. None of us would. Because the gifts are symbols of what's going to be important for Jesus as His life and ministry go on. Not necessarily helpful for the right now. Okay? So when we talk about the gifts of the wise men or the kings, and we talk about epiphany, all of this is to remind us or tell us about things that are going to happen, that are going to be important for Jesus, not things that make sense for a baby right now. So when we celebrate Epiphany, when we talk about the three kings, when we talk about the wise men, or as some traditions would, um, would call it, um, as we celebrate Three Kings Day, um, for some traditions this is a very big day, what we're celebrating is the Epiphany. And what's an Epiphany? An aha moment, a discovery, a big, a big realization. Eureka. A eureka moment. And the eureka moment is Jesus is the Messiah. Jesus saves us from our sin. Jesus saves us from separation from God. That's what today is all about, is finding Jesus. I hope each of you find a relationship with Jesus not necessarily completely today, but as you grow and learn and develop, because that's what we're here for. Okay? Let's say a prayer. And everyone's out the door, it looks like, today. Dear God, Dear God thank, you thank you for the gift, for the gift of, Jesus of Jesus and the opportunity, and the opportunity to, discover to discover His importance, his importance for my life. Amen. Okay. Go learn me. See you in a little while. You can take that with you.